In a world with increasing environmental challenges, a project in Edmonton, Canada stands out as a beacon for the future of home construction. The challenge, how can family housing be constructed in a sustainable manner while at the same time reducing ongoing energy consumption? An innovative partnership of environmentally minded organizations set out to learn just that. The idea of net zero housing is simple, at least in principle. Create a home that can generate as much energy as it consumes each year. In theory, one can design and build a home with solar panels, geothermal heating and other technologies making the structure a producer of energy. In fact, this is more than theory. Net zero buildings have already been constructed around the world. But here's the twist. The collaboration in Edmonton decided to determine if this could be done with precast concrete. Why? The Edmonton project is designed to benefit from concrete's thermal mass. This thermal mass can retain heat or cold as the season demands. Could this be better than the more common construction method of using wood structures? Precast concrete has a lot of benefits. It has mass and you need mass typically in a, in a net zero concept. This is a super insulated product and a very, very closed building envelope. I think what's significant about this house uh, that we see behind us now is it really does combine environmental stewardship, uh, economical stewardship and uh, also assisting to not build uh, just a sustainable building but also a sustainable community. The journey began when Lafarge approached Habitat for Humanity Edmonton to discuss an intriguing pilot project to assess the benefits of building homes with precast concrete. Habitat for Humanity is a non-profit charity that builds homes in more than 100 countries as a means to breaking the cycle of poverty. Habitat for Humanity Edmonton is working alongside other Habitat organizations, envisioning a world where everyone has a safe and decent place to live. Like the many Habitat organizations globally, Edmonton mobilizes thousands of local volunteers and community partners. Habitat was inspired by Lafarge's desire to build an innovative, environmentally conscious home that would fit naturally into any neighborhood. It was a noble vision. Not only would the collaborators help two deserving families achieve home ownership, these families would have no energy bills. They would be able to invest that money into the next generation that they are raising. That means that they have more money for soccer registration for their child or music lessons or an opportunity to participate in a way that they've not been able to participate. I don't know much about the technologies that are going into it, but I'm looking forward to learning about them and looking forward to building a future here. I feel so blessed and so thankful to every single person who's come together to make this happen. Stantec was enlisted by Lafarge to complete the design. The Canada Green Building Council was brought into the fold. The land for the state-of-the-art duplex was made available by the City of Edmonton Cornerstones program. Through this collaboration, it was decided that not only would the home be constructed with precast concrete, but that it should indeed be possible to achieve net zero using solar and geothermal components. The energy and interest grew, with more than 20 local businesses providing green materials and expertise. The homes were featured in the City of Edmonton Eco Tour. The many lessons learned would eventually be shared with the sustainable building industry worldwide, at symposiums and in various industry magazines. The buildings would achieve LEED Platinum certification. The interdisciplinary design approach that uh, is being used on this project is a really important component of a good sustainable building project. So it does incorporate all of the facets of every discipline into the sustainable design concept. And, you know, we really acknowledge that. And through these meetings and the process that we went through, we acknowledged how everybody has a contributing factor to ensure that this is the best design home at the end of the day for the occupants. The team on this project is uh, quite a unique one. Uh, I've yet to uh, experience such a high degree of commitment to a single project where all the players are there on a volunteer basis to really help move the project forward. This project required countless planning meetings and roundtable discussions long before the partners broke ground on the site. Then, spectators watched as huge trucks rolled into the neighborhood with prefabricated concrete walls from the local Lafarge plant. They stood amazed as the crane lifted the pieces into place and the walls went up right before their eyes. Then, volunteers got to work on the interior construction. 
More than 3,000 hours were given by 159 different volunteers, including hundreds of hours of sweat equity by the families who would eventually become the owners of the homes. Uh, the research and development that's going to be acquired through this project is going to be second to none in this kind of facility. And it's really good for sustainable construction because it goes to show when we all get together we can do something really good for two great families. This project has provided valuable learning opportunities for Lafarge, Stantec, Habitat for Humanity and the Canada Green Building Council. For the next two years, the home's energy performance will be monitored by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology to determine if the high efficiency design delivers on an operational basis. Learnings from all stages of the project will be incorporated in other sustainable residential solutions. This net zero energy precast concrete building demonstrates what happens when the community comes together in the spirit of neighbor helping neighbor for the benefit of families, community and the planet.